Secular Sakai is saying New Zealand mixed member voting is pretty awesome. I, I wonder know. if I wonder if what that is is you can vote for like people of other parties or something. I, I'm not sure. I, I've yeah. also uh, I've also discussed uh, with with some people the idea of what's called like rank choice voting. So rank choice voting is basically yeah 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 like, I like that I like that I like it a lot. It's a system that that seems to be better in terms of getting what the majority of people actually do want. It's yeah. a little bit more of a hassle to implement for sure. Um, but there have been a couple of places in the United I States. I still don't recently. understand why people don't do that. Like it seems like the best way to get democracy is to just be like, who's your first choice? Who's your second choice? Maybe they should just ask your question. Who's your first choice? Who's your second choice? And who is your, who you hate? Yeah. yeah who, yeah. who do you hate wanna, the most <laughs> yeah who do you want to make sure you keep out of office because so you don't have to do strategic voting right because right now mm -hmm. you might be like i like this guy but i have to vote for that guy to get keep that guy out yeah. if you just if you make it so that people could like pick their first or second choice and also the person that they want to keep out just say it then you don't have to do strategic voting. You could just vote for the person you like the most. Yeah. You're assuming, you're assuming, of course, in that Armin, uh, that the GOP wants democracy. So <laughs> you're assuming that they're like, oh yeah, let people vote. Uh, yeah. So yeah. do you think I'm exaggerating when I say the GOP is the greatest evil in the world right now? I've I've heard the way that you uh, you justify that with the amount of power and influence that like the American military and American policies have internationally. And I, I think that's a fair statement when you right. couch it like that. Um, yeah. I would also, I would also very much argue that the current Republican party and the, the individuals that are in charge of it are very blatantly open about the fact that they do not care about um, actually playing by the rule of law. I mean, they oh, made yeah, they're that fascist. clear. I'm, yeah, yeah, I think like I, I think they're fascists. I don't think I'm exaggerating. I think like you. Can I don't think tell... I, I hate to be I hate to be that guy, but not all right. I mean, not all of them, but I think there's a good few of them that yeah are very blatantly open about the fact that they don't give a shit, and they are yeah they are they are in like I can aspect. see that the vast majority of them, if for example, let's say in an alternative universe that the coup attempt by Trump supporters were successful. Yeah, I could, I could see that a lot of them would just fall in line. There were multiple. I, I don't have the numbers off the top of my head, but when that happened, that was on a very specific day for the United States government, where all of the senators get together and they say, "Here are the votes that my people in my state gave," and that's where they. Anyway, um, after. After that insurrection, after people breached the Capitol, and then finally the Capitol was cleared, and the senators and, and House members all came back into the chamber, there were still multiple individuals, dozens of individuals in the House, and I want to say about eight, maybe, maybe a few, maybe a few more uh, in the Senate who voted not to certify the election results. So there were definitely people who were very blatant about the fact that they would have been fine if those people had had taken yeah. over. Um, so yeah, it's it's not a it's not a great time. Uh, it's a little shaky, I will say. It's not great. Yeah. So it's we're trying, we're trying, man. It's very scary that this is what Americans are voting for, given that we became you know, complacent. Whole... That was the no, biggest but... problem. We we stopped really. As a populace, we we haven't been particularly active and involved for a very long time. I want to say in in my state um, of Tennessee, we we sit maybe about fifty to sixty percent of people that are actually registered to vote. Not just like potential voters, but like people that actually even went through the process of saying like, "Hey, government, I want to vote for you." Um, we still only have about half of them that actually show up and vote. So we're not a voting, we're not a voting nation as much as we pretend to be. We have very low voter turnout compared to a lot of the other world. So, yeah. Get my best-selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.